All right, and we are uh, going back to a quieter weather pattern here, at least uh, for the foreseeable future. And by that, I mean the next 24 hours or so. Tonight has quieted down quite a bit, so good news there. Uh, the m activity that we had earlier today, the severe storms, uh, tornado warnings, uh, wind damage, or at least wind uh, up to about 60 to 70 miles per hour, all of that has shifted well off to the east. So we are much quieter here as we head into the afternoon and evening. We've got a few light showers up towards Indianola, out toward Pleasantville, Milton. Dallas, one shower pushing through Jasper County, and then a few more storms uh, moving into Davis County now, out of Appanoose County, and back down into southeast Iowa. Picked up a lot of rainfall here today. Totals running anywhere from one and a quarter inches up in Ankeny, close to two inches here in Des Moines, but we overcame two to three inches, not even close to four inches out towards Pella this afternoon mainly from the rain that we got during the second half of your Tuesday. Check out some of these other totals. This is rainfall just from today, close to an inch or over that in Waterloo and Decorah, Dubuque coming in with some big totals. And then we had quite a bit of rain falling out towards the Omaha Council Bluffs area late last night through this morning and into the mid morning hours. So these totals range anywhere from three quarters of an inch up to about three to four inches in some spots. Locally heavy rainfall kind of just uh, really brushing up against the I-80 corridor here and just points southward here in the metro area. That's where we saw some of those higher totals and some flash flooding concerns earlier today. Good news is most of the tornado watch has been allowed to expire and then the flood watch and flash flood warnings that we had in place for central Iowa also have been allowed to expire. So good news there picking up again close to two inches of rainfall here in Des Moines today, putting us over by an inch and a half and just uh, really made up quite a bit of ground, not only for the last several months, but for 2024 as far as our rainfall totals go. Now we're close to 20 inches of rainfall in total for this year as a whole below normal by only a tenth of an inch. So good news there. Again, we've got more rain coming or at least a chance for some rain to come. I know we could use some dry time now with all of the waterlogged areas across the state, but temperature wise, we're back into the 70s right now. It's still muggy out there. We've got dew points still sitting in the 70s for central and southern Iowa. I think as we go through the next 12 hours, it's quiet. We head into the day tomorrow. We're back up into the mid 70s as we head through the mid morning hours. And again, dew points are going to stay up there Wednesday and Thursday, so I still think it's fairly sticky out there. Humidity gets a little bit better by Friday and Saturday. So the rest of tonight is quiet. We head into the day on Wednesday. We start off with some sun mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Maybe a stray storm across northwest Iowa Wednesday evening, but we're dry here for central Iowa tomorrow. We head into the fourth. We could see a quick shower or storm early on Thursday, and then the chance for a few more isolated to scattered storms is possible Thursday afternoon, not a washout. And I think by the time the sun sets, we're pretty much dry for most of the state. So tomorrow we start off right around 70. We head into the afternoon. We're back to the mid and upper 80s. More sunshine here tomorrow. Tonight's forecast drops us down only into the low 60s. We get into the day tomorrow, mid and upper 80s out there. Again, more sunshine, still a little bit of humidity out there, a little mugginess. Thursday and Friday, we're back into the upper 70s to low 80s. First part of the weekend looking good. A few storms roll back in by Sunday.